Hi guys, welcome back to my motherfucking channel. My channel. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm so fucking annoying. Um, so y'all asked for it, so I'm gonna give it to you. This is my reminiscing story time bullshit review of Love Game season four. And for all of you who don't know who I am and are new to the channel and learning about me, um, I, Danielle Victor, was once a reality TV star. I'm not anymore. But once upon a time, I was. And once upon a time, I did the show called Bad Girls Club. And then I did the spinoff called Love Games, where bad girls need love too. <laughs> so on my season of Love Games, it was me, Amy, and Camilla. They said fuck every other season. Season 8 was so goddamn good. We are going to put all three bitches from the same season on the season of Love Games. We didn't know that at the time. Like, I didn't even know Camilla was doing the shit. I don't even think me and Camilla really got that close until Love Games because I only met her like briefly at the reunion, but then we lived together on Love Games. So, um, so basically we do the whole walking up. I don't remember who was first, second or third. Um, but I remember I had like these fire ash Jeffrey Campbell sandals on. I still have them, but the heel broke and I just like, I really just need to take them down the street to the shop and get them fixed. I just haven't yet. They're, they're fire though, they're fire. And I had some hideous ass dress on thinking I was killing the game. I was like, yeah, I'm killing it, I'm killing it. And they made me walk up this hill. Actually walking up the hill to Love Games is where my fucking heel broke. I was like, are you fucking joking? Are you joking? Are you fucking joking? <laughs> so I walk up. And I remember being nervous, and I wasn't nervous because I was doing a show. I was nervous because I was like, what am I going to do if every guy is fucking ugly? <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do if all these dudes are ugly? So I walk up this hill, and everybody's by the pool, and I'm looking around. I'm like, yo, everybody's fucking trash. Like, every, I wouldn't pick any of you out of a motherfucking lineup ever. Ever. So I'm like, oh my god, this is going to be my first... This is going to be my first paid acting gig because none of these motherfuckers in real life would ever. They could never. <laughs> oh, man. The wine started to hit the bloodstream. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every time I like pop jokes and laugh to myself when I'm filming story times, I think about how weird it is that I'm just sitting in a room by myself, like basically talking to myself. Giggling, giggling it up. Anyway, so I think my first show, I saw Shane. And for all Love Game fans out there, Shane was like my number one on the show. The f the When we were by the pool on the very first day, I was like, he's the only one that like remotely could possibly have a conversation with me because everyone else is trash. So me and him hit it off. He had like long surfer hair, freckles, blue eyes. I was like, I could probably do this. I could probably spend the next couple of weeks you know, with this guy. So, whatever, we do the first challenge. I can't even remember what it was. It was something fucking stupid. I don't even remember who won, but it definitely wasn't me. And it's just funny because, like, you do shows like this, and you don't think it's going to be... So you have no cell phone. You can't email. You can't call anybody. Like, you're literally just stuck in this mansion at the top of the hill in Tarzana, California with these dudes that you would never fuck in real life and these bitches you'd never be friends with in real life except me and Camilla ended up being friends and I'm cool with Amy but at the time like I was like okay with Camilla and Amy I was like Pfft. you know because it was just like right off a bad girls club and like me and her didn't end on like a great note so um the, we go on like the first date and I think maybe Camilla was head bitch in charge I think she might have won the first challenge and I think it was, like, at that date that I realized, oh, this is, like, an actual competition. Like, we're, like, really competing to be, like, the last bad girl here. But I can't fake the funk. If I'm not feeling a dude, I am not feeling the dude. I cannot kiss you if I'm not feeling it. I cannot hold your hand if I'm not feeling it. I am not into you. And my body language says it all. So... I'm like looking around, I'm like, uh, strategically wise, 
the best power move that I could do is just like convince all these dudes that I'm in love with them. But the realistic thing that happened was I just stuck to Shane like glue. I'm like, Shane, it's you and me forever and ever 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 and I love you. I love you, Shane. Do you love me too? Uh, so time goes on and like Shane's cooking for everyone in the house. I'm like, oh, he can cook too. Oh, this guy can cook. He can cook a raw. Give it to me. <laughs> I think my nipple just fell out of my shirt. It's fine. Um, and like other guys are like trying to hit on me and I'm like, ugh. Like Dre, who actually I think dated a bad girl, could have been Stephanie after the show. Like me and him tried to come up with a plan, but like. He was like, I'll kiss you on the next date. And I was like, no, you're not going to. It's never happening, ever. So, like, I tried to, like, be smart about the situation. But I really, at the end of the day, wasn't. Um, this is when Camilla, when we were on the show, like, helped me put a tampon in my vagina. Because for anyone that doesn't know, I have a very tight... I have a tight-knit... Um, my vagina is not wide set, okay? And wearing stuff like tampons hurts my little fragile vagina. So there was like, we were doing like some type of beach thing and I didn't want to like wear a diaper. You know, I didn't want to be out there in my pad. So I asked Camilla if she'd like help me like stick the tampon up my vagina. And she did. And I think that's when we realized like we're probably sisters for life. We're never, we're never not going to be friends after this. Like you literally just stuck a tampon up my vagina. Are we best friends now? Are we best friends now? <laughs> um, and that's when Amy also told me that she doesn't floss her teeth. I hope now, after living in a house with me, that she has learned to floss her teeth. Because flossing your teeth is so important, you guys. Like, you need to floss your teeth. Have you ever, like, can you imagine going out to a restaurant, eating, like, steak, mashed potatoes, whatever it is that you're eating there, and you didn't floss your teeth after? You'll just have, like nasty crummy buildup on your teeth it's just so fucking nasty but amy didn't floss her teeth once when we lived in the crib and i was like damn bitch like you really need to floss your teeth like not flossing your teeth can lead to gingivitis bad breath your teeth falling out like hopefully now amy is flossing your teeth cheers to you girl i hope you have gone to the dentist i hope you have bought that pack of floss and you will never forget the fact that i told you a thousand fucking times floss your teeth Awesome. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me today? I don't know. I'm like, I was so depressed earlier, and now I feel like I'm in a pretty great mood because we're about to film the Swallow It podcast, and I'm like, okay, you know, let me get my shit together. Let me get it together. Give me some wine. <laughs> Give me some dick. <laughs> and I'll be good. I got wine. Definitely not having a dick, so. Mm. Okay, so competition's moving along. We're doing stupid ass challenges. The girls are fighting with each other. Amy's trying to steal Shane. I'm like, bitch, no. Like, and I'm looking at Shane like, if you think for one second you're gonna fucking be with this bitch over me, I'ma send your ass home. Knowing damn well I was never gonna send the love of my life home. <laughs> Oh man, keep in mind, like, we are stuck in this house all together. We can't leave, we can't call out, we can't email out. So, you really start to think that you, like, care about these motherfuckers. Like, oh my god, I'm no, I'm in love. I love him. Bad girls need love too, and I found it. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Mmm. So. Shane is secretly making out with Amy behind my back. Mind you, I don't have a camera. I can't see no behind the scenes footage. So I don't know any of this shit is going down. I feel it in my hearts of hearts that he is cheating on me, but I don't have proof. And I just don't want to believe it. So anyways, I remember I got head bitch in charge and I had the power to vote someone home and I put Shane up for elimination and I could have sent his motherfucking ass home which would have been a great power move for me but instead I sent one of Camilla's fucking people home which was fucking I we fought a little bit like sh actually maybe I sent one of Amy's people home 
I forget who the fuck I sent home, but it was one of Camilla or Amy's people. I didn't send home Shane. So the next elimination after that was one of the bad girls was going home. And I remember I was like standing, I was getting ready, you know, I had my hair up in a ponytail, I had my makeup, my outfit was trash, but I thought I was killing it. I thought I was killing the game when I was on Love Games, baby. <laughs> and Tanisha looks up to me, looks at all of us, she goes, this is so fucked up, this is so fucked up. And I just knew, I was like, I'm going home. I am going fucking home. And I knew it, I felt it, but I didn't want to believe it, because there's no fucking way that I was getting sent home before Amy. There's just no way. So we're all sitting there. Shane won't give me eye contact. I'm like... Looking at him. <laughs> he won't give me eye contact. All my homeboys in the crib won't give me eye contact. I'm like, what's up? Like, what's good? What the fuck is good? So... There, they all vote me home. And I start weeping, like crying, like as if this is like gonna affect me when I leave the crib. I I'm devastated, I don't know what's going on. And I don't know if I was crying because I felt so betrayed by like everyone in the crib, or I was crying because they were about to like leave to San Diego and get the fuck out of the mansion and like be out of Los Angeles and that I, I was getting sent home right before that. I think I was more pissed about missing the trip than I was of getting sent home. And fuck you, Shane! Fuck you! It was supposed to be you and me forever. How dare you? How dare you vote me home? I still don't forgive you. I don't forgive you! <laughs> oh man, so I weep. I'm crying. He tries to like come up to me like a little bitch apologizing. I'm like, Skrr! Don't speak to me. So I'm like standing outside waiting for the fucking PA van to pick me up to bring me back to the hotel. And... These motherfuckers, I can hear these motherfuckers in the kitchen, like, toasting and cheersing and, like, having a grand old time. I'm like, fuck y'all. Fuck you. I should be in there. Amy should be out of here. What's going on? But basically everyone in the house said it. All the guys in the house said they voted me home because everyone knew I was always going to pick Shane. And it's a competition, baby girl. And there ain't no competi competition if we already know who your number one is. So I get the play. I get the power move, but still sucked. Anywho, that's the love game history. That's the love game story. Now let me tell you about these dudes. I don't, re I don't remember half these dudes' names. I remember that all of them tried out for real world and got rejected. My nipple has been out this whole time. Got rejected. Um, so they're real world rejects. Like... You didn't make it on like an actual show that would probably give you a little bit of following. You decided to do love games and that's going to get you absolutely nowhere in life. So congratulations. So happy that you're here. And about 50% of them definitely didn't even like vagina. So I'm like looking at production like you couldn't even get us like straight men. You want us to like fake the fun with some like gay men? Like there was this guy who was flamboyantly gay. Like black eyeliner. Like always used to say like gay comments and I'm like are y'all for real you can't be serious right like oh what do you want me to do with him you want me to make out with him on the screen you want me to pretend like that's the dude I'm gonna bring home to my parents after this no never happening so the selection of men was weak as fuck um all in all that was probably like one of the easiest shows I've ever done easy paycheck um a good paycheck. It was definitely way better paying than Bad Girls Club. Um, and me and Camilla got super close. It's basically, I appreciate Love Games because I got my friendship with Camilla out of that. We, as soon as she shoved that tampon up my vagina, I just knew. I knew, girl. I knew we were going to be friends for a long, long time. Yeah. <laughs> So that's my Love Games review. I'm probably missing talking about a lot of things like um, Taylor, the guy with the long hair, Camilla punched him in the face and he actually wept. Like he cried like a little girl. Um, and I really like Taylor. Like on and off camera, I thought he was a very interesting dude. And then after Love Games, I found out that he was racist. And I was like, wow, that's really fucking disappointing because he was a cool dude. I wonder what he's doing with his life now. There was two dudes on the show that like, 
did love games previously, and I wonder what both of them are doing now. I forget the other guy's name, but Taylor was one of them, and I don't remember the other guy's name. Mm. But, anyways guys, that's a wrap on this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, xxodanielle, also Swallow It Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to my podcast, which is available on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and Spotify. All podcasts will be uploaded to this channel a week or so after it comes out, so you can see the visual. Don't forget to go to Amazon and buy my book. Don't be that bitch, because you don't want to be that bitch. And um, yeah, um, like this video, share it, subscribe to my channel. I love y'all. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. I love you so much. I'm just happy to be here talking to y'all and talking to myself in my room with a glass of wine waiting for Camilla to get here. I honestly should have waited to do this video until she got here, but she always comes here not ready and then we're running out of the door to go to our podcast. So I'm just going to do this now so I don't forget to do it because you guys asked for it. I will do a separate video on Bad Girls Club All-Star Battle 1 and 2 together. I'll do a video on Bad Girls Club 13 and I will do a review on Marriage Boot Camp because they didn't show half the shit that went down when I was in that motherfucker. So those are coming eventually. Don't you guys wish I would just get casted for a new show so I can do so many more videos on my experience? Hmm? Don't you? Don't you want to see me back on your TV screens? Don't you? <laughs> I'm a fucking psycho. Bye.